Welcome to this last part involving expanding brackets. Yeah? And just to summarize what we have done so far, we've answered the questions similar to, um, let's say, 2, 3x plus 5, where we had to multiply all the terms inside the brackets, in this case by 2. So 2 times 3x and 2 times 5. Yeah? So expanding uh, this expression would give me 6x plus 10. Okay. But now I'm going to add something new to it. Let's say, uh, well, let, let's still have the 3x plus 5. But now I'm not going to multiply just by 2. No, I'm going to multiply by x plus 2, for instance. Yeah. Uh, so I have two sets of brackets. Okay. Now, it follows a similar pattern. Okay. Here I did 2 times 3x, 2 times 5. I'm going to do the similar thing here. I'm going to multiply these two terms by these two terms. So, x times 3x and x times 5. 2 times 3x and 2 times 5. Okay, so I just do the same thing, but now 2 times. First for x and then for 2. Okay, what does that look like then? So, x times 3x which is 3x squared, x times 5, which is 5x, okay? So I've multiplied those two terms now by x, so I'm finished with x. Now with 2, 2 times 3x, that is 6x, and 2 times 5, which is a positive 10, okay? And again, I've multiplied both these terms now by 2. Looking at my expression after expanding, as you can see, I have two like terms there in the middle. So I also have to simplify it. So my final answer is 3x squared plus 11x plus 10. Now I do not have any like terms. Okay, so I have another video with some more example questions. Yeah, where we're going to expand two sets of brackets because that is really important. You will encounter it a lot. Okay, I'll see you at the next video. Bye-bye.